Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you some nice tips and tricks for early game in Final Fantasy 15 that a lot of you maybe haven't picked up on or just some nice nifty things you can use to get ahead of the curve. So the first thing many people ask at the beginning of the game is what should I spend my precious AP on first? And this is a very good question, which I believe I found a pretty decent answer to. So the ascension page can be a little bit overwhelming to begin with, especially if you're new to the Final Fantasy games and even if you have played before, they are a little bit different than we've seen in previous titles, so combat and stats probably seem like the most appealing at the start. So what I would definitely recommend as early as possible is unlocking road running here to the left in the exploration tab. What it does is gain AP for long trips in the car. You're going to be spending a lot of time traveling in the car guys, as you've probably already noticed by now. And it only costs 32 AP, which I know right at the beginning of the game is kind of expensive because there's so many more cheap ones in some of the other categories. Really, the earlier you can unlock this, the better and the more beneficial it's going to be for you over time. You're going to rack up so much AP thanks to the road running ability. Um, so a little bit later on, as soon as you unlock the ability to rent chocobos, I would definitely recommend also unlocking Chocobump. A quick side note here, I would definitely also very highly recommend unlocking Regroup under the Techniques category as early as possible. It only costs 8 AP and what it does is pretty much allows you to regroup in battle and restore your HP, which is very useful, especially early games to not have to waste items too often. So now we've got the AP business out of the way for early game. So another thing many people haven't noticed in this game is the stamina bar and it's very, very useful in this game. Um, the reason many people don't know it's there is because by default it's deactivated, or at least it was for me. And you have to go here into your options menu and go down to where it says stamina and put it on. Once you have it on, you'll notice every time you start sprinting, a stamina bar will come up above Noctis's head. And why is this so important? Because we can pretty much sprint infinitely as long as we control the stamina bar correctly. So what I mean by this is that when we're sprinting, obviously the stamina bar is going to go down. And when it gets just past the T down, almost depleted completely, what we can do is press the sprint button again and we'll see this weird green glow around us. And that completely recharges our stamina bar and allows us to continue sprinting. We can do this infinitely as long as we press it as soon as we're about to run out of stamina. As most of you know, you can actually sprint in two different ways. One is holding the circle button down and the other one is actually clicking the left analog stick. Um, click on the left analog stick makes it a lot easier to calculate and just click it again because you don't actually have to hold it down while sprinting. However, with circle, as you have to hold it down, you have to release it very quickly and then press it again very quickly as soon as it's about to run out so it makes it a little bit more complicated. So third and finally, something that may come natural to many of you and that is doing as many side quests and bounty hunts as you can early on in the game. Whatever's in your level range, just try to get them done. Mainly for the money rewards but also for the items that you can get and if you don't want them, you can just sell them on and also while you're out exploring doing these, you can find some nice items items that again if you don't want to keep them you can sell them on because early game you don't notice how crucial money comes into it but later on in the game if you don't do many side quests you're going to find yourself strapped for cash very often because if you don't do any side quests or any bounty hunts you're going to notice yourself later on in the game quite under leveled and this really works badly in both senses because the more under leveled you are the more you're going to rely on items and for those items you're going to need more cash and actually you know you don't get cash just by killing stuff on this game you're going to need to do those side quests you're going to need to sell off some items so anyway guys those are the three, in my opinion, most important early game tips I can give you. Soon I'll try to upload something a little bit more specific, maybe what you should be spending your AP on a little bit later on, where to get some nice early game weapons from, and stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help the channel, and we'll see you next time.